Our protocol provides a way for us to study antibiotic resistant bacteria in a nutritional and physical environment similar to how they likely exist in vivo. One of the greatest advantages of this technique is the ability to capture high resolution images and phenotypic data of bacteria in infection relevant population sizes, that's aggregates of approximately 10 to 1000 cells. Demonstrating the procedure will be Alexa Gannon, a graduate research assistant from my laboratory. To begin, sterilize the mucin-containing medium under ultraviolet light for four hours. Transfer the UV-treated mucin into sterile 1.7 milliliter tubes under sterile conditions and store the tubes at minus 20 degrees Celsius. After preparing the buffered base, add the stock solution of mucin into the buffered base containing DNA as described in the text manuscript. On the evening before the experiment, inoculate 5 milliliters of LB broth with several colonies of Pseudomonas aeruginosa PAO1 PMRP91 from an antibiotic containing LB agar plate and culture the bacteria overnight at 37 degrees Celsius with agitation at 250 revolutions per minute. The next morning, at least two hours before starting the experiment, turn on the confocal laser scanning microscope and open the incubation module in the associated imaging software. Dilute 500 microliters of the culture in 5 milliliters of fresh LB broth and incubate the bacterial suspension at 37 degrees Celsius and 250 revolutions per minute for 60 to 90 minutes. When the bacteria have entered the log phase, Pellet the bacterial cells by centrifugation and wash the cells three times with filter-sterilized PBS.